the people. Upright. You know, there's a good chance that Lilia Calderu, Alice Wu, and even Mrs. Hart didn't actually die on the witch's road. Crazy, right? There's this one clue that could set up one of the biggest twists in Agatha all along. And with the finale episodes just around the corner, we might get to see this twist play out, maybe in episode eight or even episode nine. Lilia's sacrifice in episode seven was definitely a gut punch. Fans everywhere are hoping she makes a comeback in the final episode, thanks to Patti LuPone's incredible acting and Lilia's charm that's had us all hooked since episode seven. But imagine if things got flipped and we actually got all our witches back in episode nine. Are you hyped to see them again? Because honestly, there's a good shot this could really happen. So in this video, we're diving into all the hints that might be pointing to a comeback for Lilia Calderu, Alice Wu Gulliver, and Mrs. Hart. But hey, if you're new here, we talk all things MCU, Marvel, and superheroes on this channel. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our latest stuff. All right, guys, let's jump right in. So let's talk about the Agatha All Along trailer and how it's full of clues for where the story might go. When we first saw the trailer, I'll admit, it seemed like a bunch of random scenes thrown together, right? But as each episode has aired, it's starting to feel like Marvel is doing something different here. Normally, they love throwing us off with trailers, adding scenes that never happen, or teasing things just to mess with us. But this time, it feels like they're actually giving us real hints that tie back to the story. So here's one big clue that's got me buzzing. Look at the specific shot in the trailer. Now remember, Jennifer Kale is one of the last witches from Agatha's coven still alive on the witch's road, right? We've already seen Mrs. Hart go down in episode three, followed by Alice Wu in episode five, and most recently, Lilia Calderu in episode seven. It's just Jennifer, Agatha, Billy, and Rio Vidal left now. And if we keep going with this one witch per episode pattern, it's kind of looking like Jennifer might be in real trouble in episode eight. But then there's this footage from the trailer that's still lingering. We're now through episode seven, and we still haven't seen that moment where Jennifer is crawling out of the ground. And the setting? It doesn't look like Witch's Road at all. It actually looks more like Westview. Could this be our first real hint about what might happen? Originally, I thought we'd get the scene in episode seven, Maybe Jennifer would have left Witch's Road by taking some kind of secret underground exit back to Westview. That would have been wild, right? But instead, she chose to stick with Lilia and head back to Witch's Road. So now I'm left wondering, what is really going on with that scene? And why does it look like Jennifer's coming out of the ground somewhere outside Witch's Road? Now here's where things get interesting. Up to this point, it seems like the rule on Witch's Road is that once a character dies there, they're done, like no coming back. But what if we've had it all wrong? What if it's actually the opposite? What if dying on Witch's Road means they get a sort of second chance in the real world? It could mean that instead of being totally eliminated, they end up reappearing in a new place, like Westview, just like we see with Jennifer in that shot. If that's what's happening here, then we could be in for a huge surprise in the finale. Mrs. Hart, Alice Wu, Lilia, and even Jennifer might actually make a comeback, maybe even stronger or different than before. Could they be returning to Witch's Road by episode nine? Imagine what a twist that would be. Not only would it bring back some fan favorite characters, but it would also add a whole new layer of mystery to the finale. So what do you guys think? Do you want to see these characters come back? And what kind of impact do you think it would have on the story if they do? All right, here's where things get a little wild. This isn't the only theory that hints at the possibility of the Coven members coming back in episode nine. Really this one's got a bit of a twist to it though, because it suggests that the witch's road we've been seeing might be fake. Yep, totally fake. Imagine that. If this theory's right, we've all been duped. So how could this be? Here's the idea. There could be some powerful entity who accidentally created a dimension that looks like Witch's Road, driven by some intense desire or sense of loss. This would need to be someone with some serious magical power to mess with reality like that. So who could pull off something like this? It's not Agatha, that's pretty clear. Nope, the theory suggests that the one responsible might actually be Billy, yep, Billy Maximoff. 
According to this theory, it's possible that Billy could have created something similar to Wanda's hex in Westview. Remember that? Wanda unintentionally created the hex after losing vision, fueled by her grief and longing for a life they'd planned together. She had all these dreams tied to a specific spot in Westview where they were going to settle down. But fate had other plans and Vision was killed by Thanos. That overwhelming sadness sparked Wanda's chaos magic, and she ended up trapping the people of Westview in a kind of dream reality. Now, fast forward to Billy's story. He spent the past three years trying to piece together his past as Billy Maximoff, only to uncover some tough truths. Wanda's gone, Vision's gone, and his twin brother, Tommy, nowhere to be found. And have you noticed how Agatha seems confused about Witch's Road? Like in episode two, when the entrance to Witch's Road didn't just appear right away after they sang the ballad. The door didn't really open until Billy showed up and ran toward it. Then in episode seven, Agatha's looking around at this tower with this what is going on kind of vibe, like it's not what she remembers from her own Witch's Road experiences. Now, here's the kicker. I don't doubt that Witch's Road is a real thing in the Marvel world. It's totally legit in the comics. Agatha's also been on a similar journey in the comics, so she knows what the real Witch's Road should look like. But seeing Agatha so puzzled makes me wonder, are we really watching the actual Witch's Road? Or is this some kind of twisted fake reality that's been whipped up by Billy's chaos magic? Here's the thing, Wiccan's powers rival Wanda's, and in some areas, he might even be stronger. If Wanda could create the Hex, Billy could absolutely create something similar. And doesn't that green light at the entrance of Witches' Road make you curious? You'd think it'd be dark purple if it was Agatha's magic, but nope, it's green. Green has always been Wiccan's color, right? So we might just be gearing up for another reality-bending trick like in WandaVision, except this time, we're right in the middle of it. And if this whole thing is just a fake reality created by Billy, then it makes sense that all the deaths of the Coven members might not be permanent. They might all still be alive and well in the real world, just outside of this made-up witch's road. So what's Billy's motivation here? Why would he go to all this trouble? Like I mentioned earlier, he may not even realize what he's doing. He's been so obsessed with finding Tommy, his twin brother, that he's probably done all kinds of research, including digging into Agatha's history and powers. That intense need to find Tommy could have sparked something similar to a hex, just like it did with Wanda. But here's another possibility. What if Billy is doing all this on purpose? Maybe he's after something specific from Agatha, like some information or even a certain power from the Darkhold. Yeah, I know, all copies of the Darkhold were supposedly destroyed, but maybe Billy doesn't know that yet. Maybe he thinks Agatha still has access to that magic, and he's trying to use it to help find Tommy. But here's the kicker. Even if that's his plan, it doesn't mean he's going to find Tommy by the end of this journey. Marvel's got a spin-off in the works all about that quest to find Tommy, so we know that story's just getting started. You know, I can't shake this feeling that the ending of Agatha all along isn't gonna be some big tragedy, but actually the start of a whole new chapter for these characters in the MCU. We've been hit with one tragic moment after another since, what, episode three? So wouldn't it be something if the finale took a total left turn and gave us this massive mind-blowing twist instead? Think about it. If the MCU is setting these characters up for future projects, like a solo Scarlet Witch movie, Vision Quest, maybe another WandaVision spinoff, or even Doctor Strange 3, that could be seriously exciting. Imagine Agatha or some of these other witches popping up in these stories down the line. They'd fit right into all the mystical and supernatural vibes Marvel's been building lately. And with Marvel Studios pushing out more and more projects involving Scarlet Witch, it just feels like keeping these witches around is gonna be key. Their world is so connected to hers, right? It just makes sense to keep those doors open for some epic team-ups, intense showdowns, or even a few unexpected alliances. Honestly, whether or not these characters actually come back in the finale, I'm ready to roll with whatever happens. I mean, I'm not entirely convinced we'll see Mephisto, Wanda, or Nicholas Scratch waiting at the end of Witch's Road. But I do think Marvel's got plans to bring these characters back somehow. And with Wanda rumored to return in Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars, they're definitely laying the groundwork for some big things. 
What I'm really hoping is that this coven sticks around even after Agatha all along wraps up. Can you imagine? A whole group of powerful witches ready to bring some fresh energy into the MCU's future projects? That would be a game changer for sure. So what do you all think? Are these characters coming back? Or are they really gone for good on Witch's Road? And do you buy that this is the real Witch's Road? Or are we dealing with some alternate reality cooked up by Billy Maximoff? Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments. I seriously want to know which theory you guys are vibing with the most. If you've made it this far, congrats. It looks like we're all equally obsessed with the MCU and Agatha all along. I hope we can keep this conversation going for every new Marvel project that's coming our way. And hey, if you don't swing by after the Agatha finale, I'll honestly miss you. But don't worry, I'll still be here breaking down theories, calling out Easter eggs, and diving into every bit of MCU news I can find. Whenever you're up for it, I'll be here. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button because this ride's far from over. Catch you in the next one.